an update video on my supercharged flying machine. Now if you saw the old video, which I highly recommend you watch, it was 4x2 and I've actually managed to compact it so that it's just 3x2. So without further ado, let's get on with it. All I do to start it is to light this and as you can see it shoots off into the distance really fast. If I can just grab one, there we go. You can see, you can actually stand on this, it's kind of difficult. There we go. And I'm actually moving, if I go into F3 here, you can see the number that says block. I am travelling about three blocks a second. I think it's 3.3 .3 to be precise. But this is really quite cool. Now to stop it, I'm just going to get an immovable object. This could be obsidian or a furnace or I think a jukebox works as well. And all I do is I just place that in front of this piston or I could have placed it in front of here. Now an important thing to note is that if you want to expand this, the normal piston extension, which looks like this, or you could try and use an observer neither of these ones would work what you have to do is you have to place a piston here and then a redstone block you can't use observers because they have a delay on them and then this will work but as you can see if I try and remove this piston which I can't do fine if I try to remove that piston you'd see this would stop this thing is too slow so as soon as I put a piston here now this thing can fly so now let's get on with the tutorial okay guys so what you're gonna need to do first is place down like a U shape on the back of your flying machine like this and then whichever direction you want to fly I want to fly this way you're going to place a slime block on the like left sticky uppy bit of the U facing the way you want to go and then build out a few blocks and place your sticky piston facing toward the slime blocks and then on the other side you're going to place a piston facing outward and a piston facing like into that slime block and you're going to place a redstone block here, a slime block and a redstone block, and you'll see this activates. You're then going to put a piston here, two slime blocks there. I can break all these quartz blocks I've placed down now. And you're almost done. All you have to do now is just place one slime block there, and as soon as I place this redstone block, it flies off into the distance. But thanks for watching guys, this is all I've really got time for, please do like and subscribe and check out my other Minecraft tutorials, and without further ado, thank you, bye!